Hello, Dr. Joanne again. Welcome back. Today's video or audio is on softening your anger, your irritation, and clearing the hurt feelings. So this is for, you know, if you've been feeling anger, irritation, frustration, if you've been experiencing mood swings, depression, this is this is for all of those things and there's a lot more background to this but hopefully this is just enough of a taste of of how I teach and what I teach that it will give you a little bit more peace so that's what we're hoping for and and be sure to reach out if you need additional help so here you know one of the things we might be angry or frustrated about is you know when when other people are not reacting like we are and our egos want to be right and our egos will fight just for the sense of being right um, they, they need to be right so they want to we want our egos want to win the fight um, we want to argue a point to the death and we want people to see our point of view believe as we do and act as we do behave as we do and when they don't we can get mad and then Sometimes we just fight because we really want love, but we don't know how to get this for ourselves first and foremost. We want somebody to love us, to do something for us, but they're having a bad day too. They, they have no love left to give. So, you know, this all goes back to the, the audio where you're learning to connect with love and soothe yourself. First and foremost, do that first and foremost that will help soften everything and then realize that everybody's on their own journey they have their own lessons and they have different perceptions their their viewpoint can be different and that's okay so let's dive in so again you're not driving and probably not lying down because you would probably fall asleep so you're sitting comfortably taking a deep breath in and out and just quickly relaxing from head to toe so softening your eyes and your forehead softening your jaw and your mouth relaxing your neck and your shoulders letting go of any tension that you're holding on to relaxing your arms your hands softening and relaxing your upper back your mid back your low back Letting go of all the burdens that you've been holding on to, all of the, the resistance, the fight, the struggle, just letting that slide off your back, just relaxing a little bit more. And relaxing the front part of your body, remembering that we put an energetic shield up here because we're really afraid of love for various reasons, but softening the area of your chest and your heart softening your stomach relaxing your hips and your thighs relaxing your lower legs and your feet and just relaxing a little bit more a couple more deep breaths in and out and again getting out of your head so you're not overthinking you want to feel this in your body so shifting your focus down to the area of your heart and just Again, connecting in with love, however you want to do this. Just, I'm just going to do it my way here. I just feel like, like I've got liquid light just pouring down into my body from my head. It's just filling my whole body with this beautiful light that's so, so beautiful, so caring, so loving. And I'm just so thankful to be filling myself up, filling up my love tank, connecting in with this feeling of unconditional love, remembering that I am good enough, I am deserving, I'm worthy, I'm so loved, and in this space I am safe. And everything is easy, everything works out for me. And just really allowing myself to go deeper and feel really, really good.
And I want you to just really, really get in touch with your inner being. That part of you that you could call it your higher self, your inner Christ, that, that part of you that is unconditional love, that is perfect and innocent in every way, just getting in touch with that, who you really are deep down inside, this energy of love, this energy that is pure and innocent in every way and always has been, and knowing that your ego is going to say otherwise, but <laughs> we're not listening to the ego right now, but just remembering that you are perfect and innocent in every way, you always have been, and just allowing yourself to tap into that, that higher being, that inner being, and just really getting reacquainted with that aspect of yourself. And I want you to visualize someone that you're upset with, someone you're irritated with or frustrated with. And I want you to see past their wounds, see past their fears and their anger and their limiting beliefs and their hurt feelings, knowing that we all have them. We all grew up with various various things. We, we learned a bunch of stuff that wasn't true growing up. We all have wounds. So I want you to see if you can see past that. See past all of that to their inner spark, their inner Christ-like place, their higher self. And connect with them on that level where they're just here learning lessons. They're doing the best they can Connect in there if you can. And just seeing if that just softens everything. Seeing them, looking at them in a different way, perceiving them in a different way, knowing that they have wounds just like you do. They get irritated. They don't sleep well here and there just like you. We're just giving them some grace, giving yourself grace, giving them grace. And seeing if you can just soften whatever it is that's bothering you about them. Maybe they're just pushing your buttons. They know what buttons to push. They're triggering you. But you know what? They probably just want to feel love just like you. And they don't know any other way to get it. They might be feeling like they don't matter, like they're not good enough just like you can have those tendencies as well. So giving them some grace, giving them the benefit of the doubt, they're doing the best they can. And just like you have these tools now where you're getting better, you're learning how to connect in with love and fill up your love tank, and you're, you're learning to calm yourself because you realize that for you, to be healthy and to have harmonious relationships and, and even to attract money in your life and everything good that you want, you need to connect in with love first and foremost. You're starting to realize that any amount of anger or frustration or fear or worry or hurt feelings, all of that stuff blocks everything that you want. It only hurts you. So you're really tapping into that understanding. So remembering when you connect in with love and fill up your love tank, you can see where someone else is just needing love too. They're just needing a hug. They're needing a, a kind word. Or maybe they're just needing a blessing, a silent blessing. For Maybe you can just silently bless them. Pray for their happiness, their well-being. Just silently to yourself, just do any of those things where you're just softening, softening your anger, softening your irritation. And you know, sometimes it's somebody that abused us or somebody who's been mean to us for no reason. And remember in the first audio where I was talking about sometimes our lessons are we just need to see different sides of issues. So if somebody has abused you or done something mean to you, 
what I do, I imagine that in a previous lifetime, I did the same thing, if not worse, to them. So that helps me soften it. I think, whoops, my bad. I didn't know. It, but I don't want to carry this around. I don't want to carry this resentment, this grudge around anymore because it's only hurting me. So I'm going to let it go. I'm going to soften. I'm going to let them go. I'm going to soften my anger and my irritation. I'm going to forgive them a little bit and forgive myself. And just let your body relax into that. Feel like there's an opening somewhere in your body where that's that energy, that old icky energy where you were holding on to that is just moving through you. Giving it back to God or love or your higher power. And I want you to fill that space up with a little bit more love. Fill it up with some love. Loving on yourself. Fill in that love tank up a little bit more. And I want you to think about any hurt feelings that you might be holding on to. Things that you just carried around with you where someone did something or said something where you just kind of accumulated all of these hurt feelings. And you know where it felt like people were attacking you or saying mean things. That stuff accumulates energetically. It, it leads to things like sensitivities, food sensitivities, chemical sensitivities, rashes, things like that. It's time to let that stuff go. So maybe just in your mind, visualize writing out these hurt feelings on a, on a whiteboard or a chalkboard, just writing them all out. Or maybe you physically write them out on a piece of paper. And then in your mind, I want you to just feel like, this is a new day. This is, I'm starting over from fr fresh. I'm starting over completely. I'm wiping the slate clean. I'm going to erase all of these hurt feelings, let them go, give them back to, to God or to love. Or I'm going to burn this piece of paper or just symbolically just letting the hurt feelings go. Just letting it all go, relaxing a little bit more. And whatever you were able to let go of, fill that space up with love, unconditional love. Fill in your love tank up a little bit more. And just breathe into that and just really connect in with love just a little bit more and just feel how good it feels to just let, let this go. Realizing that it was only hurting you to hold on to it. So it's time to let it go because you have, the world needs your help. The world needs your love. So you've got to fill up your love tank. You've got to connect in with love. You've got to let go of the anger and the hurt feelings so that you can help others in a more profound way. You are being asked to step up, to learn your lessons, to examine all of these emotions and these old wounds, these these belief systems. You're being asked to question all of these things. Let them go. Fill up your love tank. The world needs you and your creativity and your ingenuity. The world needs your help and you will receive the guidance on what you can do when you connect in with love and when you let go of the fear and the anger and the hurt feelings. So breathe into that and feel how loved and adored you are. Remember that you are good enough. You do matter. You are so very important. You are so worthy. You are so deserving of everything good. And just remember to connect in with this more and more often. Your body will begin to heal. Things will start to work out easily for you but it takes a little effort. It takes a little practice. Breathing into that. It's easier than you think. 
Again, it just takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of practice. And thank you for joining me. And if you need any help at all, be sure to reach out. Peace and love to all on your journey. And I'll see you in the next audio or video.